Hello Panels, my name is Hoko Po. My FYP title is Electrical Characterization for Junctionless GA MOSFET. My supervisor is Dr. Muhammad Afiq Nuruddin. The problem statements in this research are how does the device parameters will affect current voltage characteristic? Second, how does the electrical behaviors of junctionless GA MOSFET and how well the device can be implemented as an inverter? The objective are to study the electrical behavior of junctionless GA MOSFET for NMOS and BMOS. This is to solve problem statement 1 and 2. Second objective is to obtain suitable device parameter for inverter implementation and this is to solve problem statement 3. The overall project flow is from background study on the device, determine title, objective and scopes, then literature review. After that, construction of the device, validation the performance with published paper, variation of parameters, electrical characterization. After get the result, comparing with published paper and final discussion and conclusion. This is the overall process of creating junctionless GAM MOSFET structure using TCAT software. At first, we have to determine the requirement for design and parameters for device. Then, define structure specification and material parameters like electrode, mesh, region, and materials. The solution is obtained by using log, soft, root, and safe, and the last step is interpret the result through extract and tony plot. For validation, I am using Replica and MATLAB. This is Replica software. First, Load the image into replica. This is the graph from selected published paper that I want to validate. Then select mapping to crop the exact graph area. After that, specify the dimension according to the graph. Select digitize and start to point on the graph. The closer between each point will make the result more accurate. After done, select the data to clipboard and then paste it to Microsoft Excel. The data is ready to be used for validation. This is the coding that I use in TK software. There are two coding, first is for structure, second is for curve. R means radius, space is mesh, Z is the length of a device like get length, length of source and drain. Region 1 is channel, region 2 is source, region 3 is drain and region 4 is oxide. Then the entire concentration here and must be the same for source, drain and channel. Then this will extract out and as an info for IV curve. Work function, mobility. This mean drain voltage is fixed at 1 volt and the gate voltage as x axis is from 0 to 2, each step 0 0.1. And the curve is extracted. First, I insert the coding for structure and run. This is the device in 3D. Next, I cut the device in YZ plan. This is in YZ plan. After that, I insert the coding for the curve. This is IV curve. Then, I rename and export it. Due to the limitation, I will analyze the graph in my lab. Then, the graph is plotted and analyzed. Electrical parameters SS, DIBL, VTH and current ratio is analyzed as shown here. A is subthreshold string, B is current ratio, C is threshold voltage, D is DIBL. The result is tabulated in Minitab and control graph is plotted. In conclusion, the significant effort of this research is to create a junctionless GAM MOSFET with better electrical performance. Low threshold voltage, high current ratio, better SS, and low DIBR were obtained, and the objective of this research were achieved. Future work is to apply junctionless to other structures, achieve better performance, do modeling work on general equation, and analyze CV properties of junctionless GA MOSFET. This is a timeline throughout my FYP. First, title selection, then find published paper to validate. After that, construct NMOS and validate the device with other published paper. Then I simulated PMOS, analyzed IV characteristic and electrical performance, finally obtained better electrical performance and compared with published paper. Thank you.